the Royal Naval Air Service and the Royal Flying Corps combined to form the Royal Air Force in 1918. The Navy continued to operate aircraft under the guise of the Fleet Air Arm, which again became a separate identity in 1937. But during the Second World War, the Navy's workhorse was the Fairy Swordfish, or the famous old string bag. This particular aircraft is Lima Sierra 326, a Mark II Fairy Swordfish. It's operated by the Royal Navy Historic Flight, based at Yeovilton. And I must say, one of the perks of this job is to be able to fly in a wonderful old aircraft like this. When offered the patent to the Wright Brothers aeroplane in 1907, the Admiralty felt it wouldn't be of any practical use to the naval service. By 1940, when a swordfish night torpedo attack crippled half the Italian Navy in Taranto Harbour, even the diehards were forced to admit that the fleet air arm and the aircraft carrier were replacing the battleship as the fleet's most important asset. Pre-First World War experiments to fly aircraft off ships proved hazardous in the extreme. While they eventually achieved some success with takeoffs, Landing back aboard required wholesale redesign. By 1918, HMS Argus, converted from an Italian passenger liner, had a large flat deck. It meant the bridge had to be lowered, which must have made steering the ship interesting. Many features developed then are still in use today, such as the aircraft lift. Takeoffs were assisted by steering into wind and a generous 500 feet of flat deck. Landings became more manageable, but the air crew's danger was shared by the deck crew as they struggled to bring the machine to a halt. The ratings with the chocks look particularly apprehensive. They would have been as relieved as the pilots by the development of the arrestor hook, which is still in use on conventional carriers today. It was used by the British Navy until Ark Royal was withdrawn in 1978, when conventional fixed-wing flying ended. With the departure of the classic Buccaneers and Phantoms, the dramatic steam catapult launches were no longer required. The next big change in naval aviation was coming with the Harriers. 